What's up guys, it's Marky J, back again with another video, and today, as you guys saw by the title and thumbnail, and you see right here, we got ourselves five new fish. We got ourselves a blue powder karami, a fancy goldfish, and three new angelfish. As you guys saw before, we actually have our one angelfish that's right here, but, you know, he's kind of lonely, and uh, so, got him three new friends. He's actually going to be the biggest angelfish, and we have a one karami. But as you guys can see, this tank is super empty, and we used to have our convict cichlids, our warmouth our warmouth sunfish, and our pike cichlids. But all of them guys are in the 75 gallon right now. Um, of course they're all. Oh yeah, there's one of the convicts back here. Is the pike right here behind this pot right here. Also, I put all these pots in here. I actually haven't showed this on video yet. Check it out. All these pots in here. I think it looks really nice, and also gives the fish more area to kind of chill and have cover and stuff. So. I think it's super cool and super beneficial for the fish. What's up guys, it's Marky J, back again with another video. And today, as you guys saw by the title and thumbnail, and you see right here, we got ourselves five new fish. We got ourselves a blue powder karami, a fancy goldfish, and three new angelfish. As you guys saw before, we actually have our one angelfish that's right here, but you know, he's kind of lonely. And uh, so, got him three new friends. He's actually gonna be the biggest angelfish, and we have our one Garami. But as you guys can see, this tank is super empty, and we used to have our convict cichlids, our warmouth our warmouth sunfish, and our pike cichlids, but all of them guys are in the 75 gallon right now. Um, of course they're all, oh yeah, there's one of the convicts. Back here is the pike. Right here, behind this pot right here. Also, I put all these pots in here. I actually haven't showed this on video yet. Check it out all these pots in here i think it looks really nice and also gives the fish more area to kind of chill and have cover and stuff so i think it's super cool and super beneficial for the fish but you guys check it out these fish are new and this is going to be a big thing oh thank you fish is out right now check them out they look super super nice so uh i'm gonna chase back in here just cut that little part out and just eat it all right, you guys, we're about to get the first fish out, and I think we're gonna get these three angelfish out into the tank first, so I'm just gonna dump all the water out and put that water into here now. All right, you guys, check it out. We got our two angelfish right here into the tank. Boom, look at these guys. Gotta get the other one in there. Now this guy, the last one, going in. There we go, now this guy can finally have some more angelfish in the tank with him because angelfish do like to have a couple angelfish so it's kind of cool that we got some more for him to kind of hang out with. But these guys look great and they're gonna do great here. I like this guy the most, check him out, Dad. Think he looks, yeah. think he looks cool? Yeah, his long fins. His fins are a lot longer than the rest of them. It's gonna be a white scratch hopper. Yes. Now it's time to get our blue powder garami in. Look at this guy's color. He looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that thing. All right, get him in the tank now. With our other garami. So now our other garami has a little friend. So you just got some air from the top. Come on, focus, focus. All right. Other garami into the tank. Now this guy's probably going to check him out in a second. Let's see. Oh, maybe he's coming right up to him. Probably going to nip at him a little bit because it is another garami. And that'd be cool if it was male and female if we had baby garamis. That'd be super cool. But look at these guys, the color difference. One red and one blue, I like that. All right, you guys, here is our little goldfish, our little fancy goldfish. Look at him. I've actually never kept a goldfish like this before. I never really kept goldfish in a tank before, actually. I kept goldfish in a pond, but besides to eat, I don't think I've ever really kept goldfish like that. And the garami's gonna check him out. It's a lot of oxygen in the water right here because I just changed the filter today. So this is where the water flows the most. Look, they're gonna check them out, but they should be all peaceful. These are dwarf garamis, so they're not as aggressive as normal garamis. So they should, he is just checking them out right now, kind of adjusting to the new fish in the tank. So, but if there is any aggression, I will be sure to, you know, take out, put in, anything like that. But everybody's doing good. Y'all check this out. I haven't showed this guy on the channel very much, but we got our little eel right here, a little peacock eel sitting right back there. Look, he's just under that rock, and he like loves to sit under these rocks. That's basically why I keep them in here. Also, I like the way it looks, but he'll just sit under here, in there, under this and everything, and just he'll love to sit down there. But you guys, this is my new community tank. I actually set this up, and it's going to be just an all 
community fish, big schools of tetras and stuff. So if you guys have any ideas for any kind of fish that you would like to see in this tank, please comment down below. Tell me what you want to see because I'll definitely add it in here. As long as I can get along with the fish that I have right now, I will add it to this tank. So guys, I'll actually see you guys tomorrow when I feed this tank and see how everybody eats, see if everybody eats food. So they probably should. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably in the evening, actually, not in the morning. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. All right, you guys, it has been a day where actually it's about three something right now, 3.30. And uh, so now I'm gonna feed my fish. Also, the reason that I didn't feed them earlier this morning, I usually feed them in the morning, but I was at work. So I'm just gonna be feeding some of these Apai tr Tropical Flakes to all these guys, because I know these guys would love some flakes. See, the angelfish, the goldfish, the garamis, all will eat flakes just fine. So let's throw some in there. All right, I'm just gonna let them sink down. I could put a bunch in there because I know they will eat. There's the two original guys eating already. Oh, that angel came and is eating. Where's the rest of the angels? They are right back there. And I think one sees some food. I think they saw some food. Oh, the goldfish is eating. I'm not surprised by that at all. Goldfish are fat. It is a fat little fish right here. He's going crazy. If everybody in here is doing good and eating. Now this garami right here is in the current from this filter. He likes the current, I guess. So I'm gonna throw some food into the current and let it drift down. I don't know what he's doing right now. He looks like he's trying to go over here. I don't know why he's staying in the current. It's literally one side of the tank is current and the other side is not at all. But, should get him some food and oh, he just tried to get some, he missed it. Boom, just ate some food. That's a great sign that everybody in here is eating. As you can see, everybody's kind of going around the tank, eating that garami, the angelfish. And these guys are getting used to it still, you know. But it's gonna take some time to acclimate. So guys, I will see you later, and I'll give you another update on these fish and how they're acclimating, what they're doing good and eating, and everybody's doing absolutely great. All right, you guys, it's actually the next day, and I'm out here feeding all the fish. And they've eaten a lot of the food already, but as you can see, they're all up here doing good. Actually, the smaller angels were just up here, but they kind of all swam down, as you can see. Here's one right here. And the goldfish is down here. And so is this angel. And then the longer fin angel, which is probably my favorite, is right over here. But you guys, everybody in this tank is doing good. Everybody's been eating. Everybody has just been thriving. Put a little bit more food in here for everybody because I know they will eat it and for the goldfish of course he's coming over here and he didn't really get that much but everybody as you can see is doing good and eating look let's see if we can get the little one on camera eating oh oh come on let's see he's looking at food but you guys I hope you enjoyed this video we got ourselves some new fish for the community tank this tank, I want to just be a big, large community aquarium. So you guys, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think would be a cool fish or cool fish, cool schooling fish, any kind of thing. Just kind of, I want this tank to be very, very active. As you can see, I want it to be like this in the entire tank, just thriving with life, full of life. As you can see, I have my big canister filter on here. So guys, I am planning on getting more plants for it as well and just stocking the crap out of it. Just filling it with fish, color everywhere, different colors, and just making it a big community aquarium and just fish everywhere. So in that case, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys would like to see in this aquarium. I think I want some cord catfish and a bunch of tetras, but we still have space after that. So what do you guys want to see? But I'm gonna end this video off here, guys. Be awesome, get yourself some new fish. We got ourselves a goldfish, two angelfish, and a new powder blue gourami. These fish are doing are gonna do awesome. So guys, as I said, be awesome. Get yourself some fish. Get yourself some cool little community fish. And peace out. Look at them.